I try to very purposefully stay away from hype topics on this channel. Like, uh, if you, I don't know if anyone has noticed it, but like, if there's anything like big making the influencer news, that's not what I try to cover generally on this channel, right? Because it's, uh, you can go to a lot of channels for stuff like that. And then what I do like to cover uh, is, you know, interesting and important topics overall. And then this whole Manus discussion has turned into an interesting discussion to me. And I do have uh, some things that I can say about it publicly. And I'd like to say about it publicly. <laughs> and then so um, within that, like, if you don't know, like kind of the big controversy, right? So uh, Manus is like, so OpenAI, first they, they said that they're going to charge you like $200,000 per month or something for uh, like PhD level AI or, or whatever it is, right? Like, I don't know, it's something outrageous that no one's going to pay. Uh, and then, so like, then the next week, like, uh, like two days later, essentially Manus comes out and then Manus, like their benchmarking is, is what interests me. Right. And then, so if you go, let me see if we, I think it will probably be like under research, right? Uh, if we go like, uh, eh. well, so they have here we go perfect um look at this so manus compared to open ai and then compared to like previous data are like these benchmarks right and i don't have any reason to doubt these benchmarks what the controversy is around this is that uh, people have uncovered that like this manus is a um it's a wrapper <laughs> it's uh, like uh it's claude and then it's like uh some tools and then like 27 like different like uh, open source models and frameworks, etc., that are like built on, and then it makes up this model, right? And then like people are like, "Well, it's just a wrapper." It's like, well, like it, people that are making that argument, like you don't. Uh, to me, it's like, well, yeah, you you don't really understand AI overall. <laughs> like um, everything regarding Gen AI, basically, like everything that is like LM based is a wrapper, right? Like so, the, let's uh, peel that back. Right. Let's. So, what exactly would you expect this product to be and it not be a wrapper? So, uh, it would be based on an LM model, which is the driver, right? Um, and then, but you don't want that to be a wrapper. So, they would have to build their own LM model, but then also their own framework on top of that. <laughs> uh, which, like, why would they have to build their own LM model? Like, that's what I don't understand within this equation, right? Like. Um, if you actually understand it, they're very smart. <laughs> like, I mean, like, uh, Manus, like all of these labs, they're doing the same thing as me. I don't pump out models, right? Like I don't, I, I'm not, you don't see me pumping out like a Claude or a Gemini or a chat GPT and, and you will never see me do that. Like, like ever period. And, and like, uh, cause I don't like setting money on fire, right? Is the bottom line. Like I can utilize those models. And if I want to build frameworks on top of them, I build a lot of agent frameworks on top of them. Like, let me, so, let me just, you know, illustrate this for you. So, uh, this is my repository, right? Uh, and I just type in agent for my own repositories. And here's three, um, ant colony swarm agents, mobile swarm agents, and multi-agent LLM. All three of these models utilize an LLM at the core, right? So I, um, that's why I don't release them as a, as a model. Like I, 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 I like, so multi-agent LLM, it could be like on top of Claude, it could be on top of GPT, et cetera. Same thing with mobile swarm agents or at swarm agents and I call it swarm agents. If I put out these frameworks, would you be saying that they're wrappers? <laughs> like, um, and if you are, I mean, if you do, then, then every, literally again, everything that you are buying that is LLM based is a wrapper, right? Because it's wrapping over the LLM model. Uh, and then in that instance, like, are you expecting the uh, LM model to be outperformative? Like, like, I don't understand exactly what the market is looking for when it comes to these things, what your expectation is, what, how you think that AI works overall, um, et cetera. <laughs> right? Like, I, I just, all of this baffles me. Yeah. Like, yes, it's a wrapper. Yeah, uh, yeah, Dur. <laughs> like, what else would it be? Right? So like, like, uh, what do you want it to be? Like, that's, uh, I mean... Uh, what 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 do you expect all of this to be? I, I, I really like question that overall, right? Like, I mean, flat out, like the reason why I'm like so like ban happy on my channel, like, I just block people is it's like I don't want to deal with in general like the stupidity of this. Right? To me, it's it, like if you're calling it a rapper and then not understanding that everything else is a rapper, that's that's just plain stupidity and laziness to me. Like, I I don't know how to paint that a different way, uh, and then. I just, I don't want to deal with that in general, right? I, like, I generally don't. Like, that's why I generally don't talk on these topics. Because, I mean, these are, uh, 
my specific thoughts on it. And, and, and so I don't know how to like, um, crystallize this more, right? To me, it, again, it comes down to the benchmarks that, that like their framework is very good. <laughs> like it's, it's beating any other agent framework that currently is on the market. Right. And no one is refuting that. Like none of the people that are coming out and even like these like top people in the, in the community, right. That are coming out that are calling it a rapper. They're not saying it's bad. <laughs> like I haven't seen a single person knock it on that level. They, they all say the opposite. Right. Uh, and then I see like a lot of these influencers are, are currently like leaning into like, Oh, I feel kind of duped, like blah, blah, blah. Like, like, man, we, it was a rapper. Like, don't go, you know, hype. Yeah, sure. Don't go hyping everything that you need. Uh, and you hear, uh, and then now you're just doing it again though, by like having this rapper conversation, but here we are. Right. But I think like overall, it's a good conversation to be having. Like, I think that this is good that this happens. It's good that we talk about this. And then like, Bottom line for me, like I, I, I question, oh, I, I can't say it enough. Like as a consumer, what do you want out of this? So yes, Manus is a rapper, right? But it, again, it beats everything else on the planet. So do you want not a rapper? Or do you want the best with a rapper? And so like, I'll sell you either one, right? Like, but which one do you want? Um, like, I guess, I mean, my honest opinion on it overall, like, I, like, there's a reason why I stay away from the rappers and from LM models overall, but like, uh, market dictates, right? <laughs> and then if the, like, uh, market dictates that you're all talking about madness as opposed to anything else. So here we are. Um, and then, so just trying to understand the logic within this and, and, and like what people generally overall, like think about these things. Like I, I that's what I don't get. Right? And, and the part I, I, I clearly don't understand. And I'll, I'll make this claim very definitively here and now, right? Like we have at this point maxed the physics of transformers, whether you like it or not. Like that's just plain and simple fact. Like we're not going to make significant advancements over where we are now. It's going to be wrappers, frameworks that are uh, already wrapped up in these things, uh, kind of like behind the scenes, um, manipulation of benchmarks, et cetera. I mean, that's plain, plain, like calling it, calling an egg an egg, right? <laughs> that's, that's what it is and, and, and what it, it's like boils down to uh, in this instance. And that's what you're paying for and, and, and hyping within these things overall. There's very much another part and a separate part of AI research that is outside of Transformers, right? But I mean, for like all of the money and, and all you understand at this point is Transformers and LLM models. So here we are talking about Transformers and LLM models. But again, like I can't stress it enough. All of these things that you're seeing, you're going to see more and more of it because no one has any secret tech. No one has any secret way that they can bypass physics, etc. And, and if you understand the physics of transformers, it's a very interesting on a physics level how it breaks down, right? Like so, uh, the bottom line is like transformers operates in a unique way that we didn't know in 2017. And what we didn't know is that you can it prepays some of its compute, and then so like. That that's interesting, right? There's not another architecture that that is like that. And then so in 2017, when you see that for the first time, it's like, wow, like you're like, you can do that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> like, um, but uh, there's an extreme cost for it, right? And then uh, there's like, I mean, it, it, it comes down to physics. Like, I'll, I'll give you a bottom line. Like, let me give you a crystal clear example of this, right? Like, 100% framing this in your mind. So. I can use transformers today to, uh, let's say like replace compression, right? That's all I mean, I mean, a very big thing that I've been working on behind the scenes and, and, and uh, like, I haven't released it to anyone because to me, the technology is worthless. Like I can 100% do it. I can replicate it. I can train, change a transformer model so that it's no longer a prediction model. And then it's purely just, uh, like regurgitating. I, I like, I can make it the exact opposite of how you would typically train a transformer model, right? And, and it works. Uh, I can benchmark it. It will do it. I can take like Harry Potter, for example, right? And I'll have the transformer model literally memorize Harry Potter. <laughs> but then the problem with that is, is uh, my transformer model is millions of parameters, right? And then Harry Potter is uh, thousands of pages. And then uh, millions of parameters. Turns out it costs more to store than thousands of pages who would think right um so like yeah you can do it like i i can um 
use ethanol compared to gasoline, but one is mo- like is less potent than the other, and 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 we know these things, right? Uh, with transformers, it's the same thing. Like I, I can use transformers, and I can put a transformer model in there. But it's going to be like using ethanol as opposed to gasoline. Like gasoline is going to always outperform and always be better uh, than just, I mean, it's literal. You can't get around physics. <laughs> and and, and uh, all of these things that I'm mentioning, and, and they all bump into physics. Um, and at the end of the day, uh, it's all a big physics equation. And you're not going to see anything more than this. <laughs> and so if you're trying to wrap it in any other way, I don't know what else to tell you. I am very interested in knowing like overall, like, what general like literally tell me like what is going through the consumer's mind within this because i don't understand it uh, flat out um but so if you like this type of content please like subscribe thank you very much